principal, teachers and fellow students. My name is Nick O'Toole from Miss Shannon's sixth class and I am very excited to stand before you in this position as a candidate for school president. I may be competing against five other people, but if you hear my ideas for this school, I'm sure that you, I can secure your vote for me. I could stand here and tell you that I'll get rid of homework and tests to get you to vote for me, but you know I can't go through on that kind of promise because I will have to consult with the teachers and Miss Whelan for everything I do. Instead, let me start with one of my favourite ideas. I would like to see the whole school show their creativity and spirit. In the first month, I will run a programme for each class to design a mascot for their class. This will help each classroom be a place where everyone feels welcome and proud to be part of it. Secondly, it's my plan to hear every one of your ideas. So I will set up a suggestion box either at the front office or the exit. I will look through these once a week and get back to every suggestion as soon as I can. Next, we need to show our awareness and inclusiveness to people in our school with disabilities. Over 10% of, of our students in school have dyslexia and there's much more we need to raise awareness for. I will organise an awareness day once a month, raising awareness for different disabilities each month. Lastly, I'm highly committed to the natural environment of our school. I will work with teachers to bring back the school garden so we can plant greenery of every kind there. Small actions can lead to positive changes for our planet. I'm asking for your vote and support. Together, we can transform our school into an even more incredible place to learn and grow. I guarantee you, I will never back down and I will never give up. Thank you for believing in me and my vision for our school. Our student council. If I get elected as president, I will try my best to be a voice for all students in the school. Some of the things I would hope to achieve are bring back school sports day, school bake day to help raise money, more sports equipment for PE and the Astro. I will try to set up a games club at lunchtime including Legos, chess, Connect 4, etc. I will try and get toasty, toasty Friday once every two to three weeks. I will listen to your suggestions and take them into consideration. So if, if you have any ideas, please bring them forward and we will talk about it. If I, if I am elected as president, I will ensure that the Student Council works as a team and if I am elected, I will represent everyone in the school. Thanks for listening, Jack Lynch. Students and teachers, my name is Nuala Mara and I think you should vote for me as the Student Council president. First of all, I think a Student Council is a good idea to make students happier and more appreciative of what the school has to offer. If I elect the student council president, I promise you I'll be the voice for the students of this school for what you want and what you wish for. If I'm elected student council president, I will try that fifth class of football during that, during break because what I've experienced in football in life is people being included in a sport, and I want to encourage that to more classes, maybe all of them. A number of people have talked to about their wish for a basketball league. I think that would be a good idea to involve other sports to the school that people may show interest in. A lot of students would like more golden time because only once a week we have 30 to 40 minutes to play outside, watch a movie or play a game. This is not good enough as children like us need time to let loose and relax doing what we like and I think that is very important for primary schools all across the world. I hope you see the importance of voting me as a student council president and the positives of what this may bring to the school. I hope you share the same beliefs and remember to vote for Eve. Hello boys and girls, my name is Kasha. I'm here to persuade you to vote me for president. Here are my top three reasons why you should vote me. Number one, I'm kind, creative, and I'm an understanding person. I could help you if you have any problems, good or bad. I would love to listen to your wonderful ideas. Number two, I believe I can make a change. Maybe not a huge change like having a uniforms, because that's not really possible. But I truly think I can make a few small changes like, 
for the girls in sixth class to be able to use a football as well, for there to be fun activities inside and outside. Number three. At the end of each month, we should have some type of thing to raise money, like a different thing than toasties, a small bake sale, and maybe even a talent show. Who knows where the future could take us? But, but all I know, if you vote me, you'll get no homework for the day. Vote me. Hello students and teachers. I stand before you today as a candidate for the highest office of this school, and I am honoured to share with you my vision for our school's future. When I think about what makes me a good candidate, I am reminded of the values that I hold dear. Inclusivity, progress, and a deep commitment to our students' well-being. One of my key initiatives will be to enhance our physical education program by providing better PE equipment. Our students deserve the best tools to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle, and this includes quality sports equipment. We will ensure that our hall is fully equipped to help every student develop their physical skills and enjoy the benefits of regular exercise. But my commitment goes beyond sports and physical fitness. I also want to focus on raising awareness about autism in our school. Autism is a diversity that affects many families in our community, and we must strive to create an environment that is inclusive, supportive, and understanding. We will implement programs and activities that promote autism awareness, creating empathy and a sense of community among all our students. We must not forget our youngest learners, those in third to fifth classes who often face neglect or inadequate opportunities. I pledge to address this issue by improving resources and support for these students, ensuring they receive the attention and care they deserve. In line with this commitment, we will provide more footballs and other sports equipment to these young students to engage in physical activities and extracurricular sports programs. The physical and mental benefits of sports are immense, and I want to make sure that every student has the opportunity to experience them. Fundraising is a critical part of our school's success, and I intend to create innovative ways to raise funds for our school's needs. This includes partnering with locals, organising fun events and encouraging the community to support our cause. I also believe in the power of competitivity, not just in sports but in academics and extracurricular activities. We will create an environment that fosters healthy competition, pushing our students to excel and reach their full potential. Education about second level or secondary education is another area that I'm deeply passionate about. We will work to provide all of you students with the information and resources you need to make informed decisions about your academic futures, ensuring that you are well prepared for the transition to the next phase of your education. Ultimately, I am a strong advocate of the Take a Book, Give a Book programme. We will establish a system within our school that encourages reading and sharing of knowledge. Let's build a culture of learning where students can not only take books to, ensure, to explore new worlds, but also give back by sharing their favourite reads with others. In conclusion, my campaign is based on a commitment to our children, our future, and the betterment of our school community. Together, we can achieve these goals and make our school a place where every student feels supported, included, and empowered to succeed. Thank you for your time, and I hum humbly ask for your vote. Remember, vote Emma, don't make a dilemma. My name is Sam and I'm one of the candidates that is running for president of our school in St. John's. When the word president comes into mind, I think of someone who has respect, responsibility, and pride in their own. And I think of all those attributes. When they ask me why I want to be president in the first place, the first reason I want to become president is because I wanted to improve my public speaking. If I become president, I would definitely have improved it along the way. And the second reason is that this is all of our last years in St. Chocolate's. We're in sixth class now. I would really like to make an impact on, on how we finish our school journey in St. Thomas. The way this vote works, it is a democratic voting system. So whoever gets the most votes becomes president, and whoever gets the second highest amount of votes is vice president. I think you should vote for who you actually think is the best president, and in my opinion, that's me. Thank you for listening, and vote for Sam.